Hey, we are back on gaming. And let me say, these previous two weeks have been pretty good. They've been pretty fun. I say that. Um, for obviously the city, as you know, is just going crazy here. All right, because of what's going on with the Eagles. And I've enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, everyone has uh, awakened, as you know, in Philadelphia before all this. People wake up angry, you know what I mean? Everyone is so nice. You know, people just randomly giving hugs down the street. People just going by, just beeping their horn, you know, chanting eagles and all. It's, it's been such a great experience for this city. It has been so nice. It just has. And everyone is having fun, and it seems like everyone's living life, and I think that's a big deal. Matter of fact, that should be the theme uh, this week. I think maybe it should be the theme, shouldn't it? <laughs> so let's get started, okay, about people who don't have lives and people who need to do this on the internet due to the fact that it's the only way that they can survive, right? And let's talk about Polygon. Because for those who don't know, Polygon came out with an article not too long ago about Overwatch. This is exactly what Polygon said and how people reacted. Now, with this article, there were a number of gamers in the Overwatch League, male and female, who came out and said, this article, the way it's written and the way they try and represent females, is absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. They don't want to get in simply because they're female. It has to do with skill. That's what it's about. Some actually said, you know, well, it also comes down to uh, men don't want to deal with female problems and it'll be a distraction. There's a number of um, opinions that I saw on this. But what you're failing to realize, and I think this is the bigger picture of all, all right, that no matter, you know, people are talking, I think the discussion is healthy because you have to understand, all right, as you know, the videos I do are for discussion. That's what they're for. They raise discussion. They raise awareness. They raise, that's the entire point of the video, okay? You know, in media, they tend to do this time and time again. And of course, you see it and you say, well, it's clickbait. They're just trying to bait you. And here's the thing. I can't give them but so much credit for raising the discussion of what's going on, but it is bait because this is how Polygon reacts exactly when someone calls them and says, calls them on and says, "Look, the comment section is going to be horrible." This was their response to it. Bait, right there in there, it tells you they're expecting it. So of course they can write an article about the misogyny. And how gamers, wasn't there just not too long ago one said there's a, the, 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 the things of, uh, the secrets of gamers that nobody wants to talk about or some shit like that. This is what they do. You know that the media does not like you gamers. You know that. And that you have to fight against it. But it seems like these days people have just said, okay, we're, we've just become comfortable with it. This is what we'll accept. You know, we'll accept them for making the article and then we'll call them out on the article. But nothing changes. You know what I mean? So... It's just a revolving door. They say something, people get outraged, and then they wait for them to say something out. You know, again, they get their clicks, and they, they, they stay in business. They do it again. People get outraged. It's the same thing over and over again. And I say this due to the fact that this has been going on for, what, the previous four years? So, since they've been called out on their journalism. So, the previous four years, and nothing still has changed when it comes to the attempts of trying to bait gamers. Now, as you know, they've already changed. A lot of places have changed, you know, their ethics. Um, they've disclosed things. They've, they've Some of the places have cleaned house. Um, so places are trying in that, you know, aspect. But you also have to understand that you have an editor who greenlights these articles, you know, not just the writer, because things can be changed at the time, as you know. Um, and I just find it sad that we are still seeing this to this day, that we're going to, to pull this, you know, this card, and, you know, equality, it's not even an equality thing at this point, you know they're ready to scream misogyny, that's pretty much what they're implying, why aren't there more women in there than men, be ashamed if someone said, misogyny, like, that's what it is, and you've got to be kidding me that, like I said, four years later, this is still going on, like, come on, like, yeah. But speaking of these type of people who are on that side of the fence, uh, not too long ago, well, the last uh, gaming video I did, you know, compilation gaming video I did with news, we talked about uh, Jed Whitaker. And I showed you what happened with Jed Whitaker, right? I showed you how he was threatening to sue another person for taking his stream, where, like I said, I, I put the link in the, uh, the description field. And just in case you don't remember, for reference, 
I'll put the link in the description field again for you so you can see what he said and how he wanted it down. You know, he took down the stream and he threatened to sue the person who put it up, you know, on their account. And then he started begging the person, you know, to take it down. Now, we talked about this before about responsibility where you knew what you were doing. You recorded it. You know, you said what you said. You recorded it. You uploaded it. You thought it was hot. You thought it was cool at the time to say. And then all of a sudden, you want to say, all right, I want to get rid of this and it's going to go away. And as you know, if it's already on the internet, it's going to stay on the internet. You know that, right? So, while I was making that video, okay, apparently on my Twitter feed, Jed Whitaker and guys are, are getting into it in on my feed, in my mentions. I don't know what's going on because... I am on Twitter. I was literally doing the video when this was happening. And apparently, this was something that happened le the night before, which, when I wasn't on Twitter, um, they were talking about. So, this is what Jed Whitaker said. Now, this is, this is weird. Because it seems like a lot of people have used this word a lot. It must be the hot word now to use slander. Now... Let's talk about this. I don't think a lot of people realize what slander actually is. Slander is when you, you know, you accuse somebody of something and, you know, without any, you know, evidence. That's what slander is. To just try and take their name, throw them just under the bus, drag them through the mud, and without any, uh, let's say, any evidence, facts whatsoever. However, that's not the case here, all right? There's there's to slander and having an opinion, slander and facts. And like I said, that happened with me for the previous two weeks where people are like, oh, you're slandering. It's not slandering if I'm giving you facts. You understand that? And then there's also, well, this is my opinion on said, you know, person or whatever. Or opinion of others, mind you, of others saying something about somebody else. That's their opinion, not mine. All right? So, not slander. When he says stop slandering him because they were talking about dead or alive, it seems as though he's trying to make the case of they didn't have all the information, okay? So if they didn't have all the information, and they're going by what they have, then it's not slander as it is, you should understand that it's ignorance on their part. But if you noticed, the tweet at the bottom says, you know, fail to load. I'm going to tell you why, all right? Because you went too far. You would want to claim slander to other people while calling them a hate group. Which you have no facts of. None. Alright? So, you're slandering me because of something that you only had half the information for. But at the time that the information was accurate. Because he admits that, you know, well, trophies weren't loading and there was all this other stuff. So, they're going by... What they have, which is fact at the time. That's not slander. Okay? And then you turn around and call them a hate group without any evidence. That is slander. Do you understand that, Jed? But as you can see, the, the you know, the, it says failed to load. Why? Because I came in afterwards and said this to Jed. Now, is there anything that I didn't say that wasn't true there? I'm not going to tolerate you coming into my mentions. Mind you, searched yourself because you weren't added at all. No one added you. No one retweeted it. Someone you follow and all that type of stuff. No. It was a conversation between them. There were no retweets. I can see when you go back on the timeline, it's actually what was retweeted and what wasn't. Nothing. Nothing. They weren't added. Jed was not added. So, Jed searches himself on Twitter jumps into my mentions, and now you want to talk about hate groups. No, I'm not going to tolerate that at all, all right? Because literally, you are now talking to a black man about hate groups and how you're being slandered by hate groups. Are you fucking serious? Is that, that's what you're doing, all right? Jed, let me ask you a question, Jed. Have you ever had to go outside and fear for your life because of the color of your skin? Hmm? You know, hate groups. And have to do that for years upon years upon years upon years. If, is that what you want to say? Hmm? Is that where you want to go? So when I tell you to get the fuck out my mentions with this bullshit because you don't have any facts that they're hate group. Alright? What do you do next?
blocked. Yeah, that quick. So all I'll do is take one tweet. I'm trying to figure out, is there anything that I said in that comment that was false? I don't want you in my mentions talking this bullshit about hate groups, okay? And why don't you just take your ass somewhere and, and, and go stick another Joy-Con up your ass? That's not slander. That's a fact. So since Jed had blocked me, and everyone saw this conversation happening, people that he didn't block went on his timeline. And this is what he said after he blocked me and that conversation happened. This is what he said afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2018, I'm going to leave because of white supremacy and all. You're not going anywhere. You're not. You're looking for sympathy. That's what you're doing right now. Let's be real here, alright? You're going to leave in 2018, just like Brianna Wu was supposed to leave, right? Came back. Zoe Quinn said he wanted to come back. Arthur Chu, it ends tonight. Arthur Chu was going to leave. Came back. You're not going anywhere, because this is all you have. You've made it very known that without the internet, you have no life. You're not going anywhere. But to sit here and try and play victim and scream white supremacy when a black man tells you, cut this shit out. Because, let's be real here, who the hell, look, on Twitter, alright, most of my timeline is sports, jokes, I do see some politics on there every once in a while, which is a pain in the ass to be honest, alright. But I understand a lot of you gamers feel very strongly about politics apparently, but, um, but fine, whatever, you know what I mean? That's fine. Whether it's about the present or it's gender or what. Y'all feel very strongly about these things. I don't say anything because I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? I really don't. Because, hey, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get into that. But when you want to scream that you're a victim of white supremacy, I have a problem with that. I have a huge problem with that. Like I said before, Chad, you, you've never had to deal with that. Ever. There's too many white supremacists on here. I'm leaving. I'm black and I'm still on Twitter. White supremacists. There's been racists since the AOL days. Alright? All of a sudden this is too much for you because of one tweet of me telling you move on and go write some bullshit article? If you want to be taken seriously, number one, take some responsibility. Number two, stop writing stupid fucking articles. Don't you understand that no matter what happens, alright, no matter what type of job you want to get after this, or if you decide to walk away from gaming, depending on what it is, because not too long ago, weren't you just fired from another place? They let you go because of how bad you are. So, those, those type of articles, they're going to follow you for the rest of your career. You understand that, right? At this point, Jed, you have nobody but to blame but yourself. But I guess since a black man told you that and now you're screwing white supremacy, I guess I guess that may, that, that makes me, you know, internalize uh, racism, right? I've internalized racism now. Is that it? Huh? Am I on the Chappelle show? Is that where we will go with next? I just <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 crazy that you would even go that far. Like I said, wanting to play the victim. It's crazy, man. Let's go on. It's the difference between someone who's actually done you wrong as opposed to, oh, he said this, and uh, white supremacy, hate group. Do you have any facts for that? No, 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 I don't. I'm just going to say it because that's what everyone else is saying on the internet. Okay, sure. Okay, okay, got it. So, was it white supremacy that made you put that video out? No? It, it wasn't white supremacy? Okay, 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 okay. Now, let's move on. Don't even get me started on that video. But like I said, I will put that link in the description field. That's right. So, for, you know, him to want to scream white, white supremacy. Yeah, very cringeworthy. Um, let's move on, shall we? I want to talk about the city real quick. <laughs> the city of Final Fantasy, NT, season pass characters have been teased. Really? Really? Is this where we're going now? Oh, I forgot. This happens with pretty much every fighting game these days now, isn't it? Just season passes and milking you for your shit. But there's more. Oh, no, 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 no. There is more for Dissidia. That's right. For those who don't know, if you, uh, you can get Dissidia NT, uh, FFNT DLC 
buy it by buying cup of noodles. Now, buying cup noodles. That's what you can do now. Matter of fact, what I'll do is, in the description field, Amazon has a pack of them. I think they're currently unavailable right now. But you can see what they're selling. Just to show you, for reference, you can see what they're selling. It's one of those things where, for me, this is almost like what we've seen with other... Uh, other uh, games, you know what I mean, what Mountain Dew, and if you buy this, you get this code, and it, it, it's, if you haven't understand, this type of advertising, it actually degrades you as a customer, as a gamer, because they think that they can get over on you, if you get this Red Bull, we can do this, what, that Red Bull Street Fighter stuff was cool, look, I'm trying to say this as, how can I put this? Articulately as possible. Matter of fact, no. I won't even say that. I will say this at its basic common denominator. How about that? You're being fucked. How about that? How about that? If you don't realize that there's people who have been doing this, like for me for years, been doing this and trying to say, hey, look, this is going on. This is fucked up. And people are like, you just a hater, dude. Or this is just the standard of business these days. It's not. You're being hustled. It's the lowest of low when it comes to hustles. And you've got to be kidding me that we're supposed to be okay with this. Buy this product that will see their sales because they made that deal. Buy this product and you will get this. And it's like, are you serious? So, stuff is in the game, but she wants to buy. Okay, okay. Gets worse though. Blaze Blue. That's right, cross battle. Let's talk about this. Lost tag about whatever. I don't even give a shit at this point. All right, after what I've seen, this. So, as you know, they've discussed there won't be uh, arcade mode. Get mad. Get mad. Lack of arcade mode. Get mad. Now, hopefully, we'll see if they change that. That's what was the news so far that we've seen about it. However, the biggest punch in the gut is the roster. Now, as you know, they're going to have forty characters, but twenty of those characters will be DLC. And for what people are saying, there's not going to be a season pass for it. And they're going to price them individually. Now, if we go by Arxis and what they've done in the past, these characters are going to probably cost quite a bit for each one of them. So I'm thinking to myself, if i got to pay, let's just say that they're $5 each character. Let's just say that, alright? And there's 20 characters you got to buy if you want your full game. If you want your full game! That's pretty much the price of the new game. Why would anyone support this? Because it's the new, it's the hot thing you got to get. And and, and if you're not part of that group, the Angry Cool Kids group, you're going to be left out. And you'll be a nobody. And I don't know you since you're a nobody, so you're not part of this community. You've got to be kidding me that people are still falling for this peer pressure bullshit. Come on. Here, this, this is the same community that wants to be respected, though, right? <sighs> I put it like this. To me, I'm not getting it, so it doesn't matter to me. But I feel it's unfair, and I'll say this. I feel it's unfair that people jumped all over Street Fighter, Street Fighter V, for this. But we're just going to let this ride right now. We're going to let this just go. And our community, they've been dealing with this for years. You know what I mean? When it comes to, you know, their games. And... I remember when they came out and said, look, this is a problem, we need to deal with it. Instead of the rest of the communities in the FGC, because you know there's a lot of sub-communities. If you're, you're a Street Fighter player, you're an anime player, you're this, that's what I'm talking about. Instead of them coming together and saying, look, we need to support them because overall this business, it's fucking everyone up. People were just like, nah, bro, that's on you. Now you know what we went through when we tried to support Street Fighter. No, it should have been the same way with Street Fighter. Everyone should have come together and said, this is not called for. The same thing with Street Fighter vs. Tekken. You say, wait, this is not called for. When they found all this shit on, on this, not called for. And Street Fighter vs. Tekken didn't do well. Because, technically, people kind of came together on that one. It was enough to sink it. You know, not to mention the whole jam thing. And people were very pissed off about that. But... You have to understand that these business tactics are uncalled for. For games, you have to understand, again, FGC, you are not the top of the top when it comes to popularity in gaming. You're not. You are still, I'm not going to say you're a very small, small, small group, you know, minimal group. But you should know that 
you're not bigger than what you could be, you know? So for them to pull something like this in a community that really doesn't give a lot of numbers and they think this is the way, I told you before, the way for their longevity is to milk you as opposed to supporting, you know, the game in full and saying, look, we're just going to hold these tournaments here, 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 and we're going to do it for years. I mean, you still see it to this, this, to this day with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. They still hold tournaments for that. So it goes to show you when you have great games, you hold them on that pedestal. And, it's, and that's how you keep that longevity as opposed to, well, we're just going to give you a character here and there. And then next month we'll give you another character. And then, you know, two months from now, we'll give you something else, or a stage, or an, an, a special event stage, or, you know, we'll, we'll do this in there, and we'll just add it slowly but surely, and just keep milking you in the long run, so you have a reason to keep playing it. It's funny, because when people say, that's their reason to keep playing it, you wouldn't have survived back in the day when you just only had eight characters. I don't understand it. You would have, you would have given up a long time ago. It's sad. It is. I, I, I'm not a fan of what I'm seeing. But like I said, at this point, hey, if you're going to buy it, you're going to buy it. I just think, you, should, you know, this community should be against it. That's my opinion. You should be against it. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's move on, shall we? I got one more uh, bit of news to talk about when it comes to the FGC. <laughs> so, let's talk about what happened Two weeks ago, about two weeks ago. And I say this because for a person like myself, who is supposed to be so mad and so jealous, <laughs> y'all went as far as to flag down my video. Wow. And you know what? I'm not surprised. You want to know why? Because this happened when I told the truth uh, a couple years ago when I did a standalone video for the FGC. Y'all flagged that one down too. Right? And it was nothing but truth there. I, had, I showed all types of examples and everything. It was nothing but truth. And you got upset. And you flagged me down for it. And you want to know what happened then? Other people had took the video. And they put it up on other, uh, other, uh, was it, other channels on YouTube. And it actually got bigger. That video I believe had like 25,000 views. We're talking about a video that was two weeks ago that I have moved on from. I have done other videos since then. Wasn't even scratching the 3,000 mark. And people were getting so upset. For people who said that I was mad. Nah, two weeks later, and you're still complaining about it, you're mad. Alright? <laughs> now I say this because the reason I bring up the older video from, you know, a couple years ago when that happened. What did you think was going to happen this time? Hmm? I'm just wondering. Because if you didn't know, guess what? Video is up. YouTube... When I'm doing a YouTube, they like said they took it down, but it's being appealed. But until then, it's still up somewhere else. <laughs> you can't stop the internet, man. You want to silence me for telling you the truth of my experience of what happened at an establishment. And you all admitted that we can't combat you on that. We can't tell you that, that you know, we can't say that you're lying about that. Some of you actually tried to and said I'd never been there. But then when I said to you, hey, you know... If I've never been there, how could I know all these things in there? I've been there twice. And I wouldn't detail. So how was I never there? And when this originally happened, mind you, I reported right to UGL. Immediately. Okay? Immediately. But here's the thing. You focused on this. It was a, it was a, I won't say it was a brilliant smoke screen. It was a funny smoke screen. Because it was so stupid it became funny. That you wanted to sit and try and question... Who I am. You know, that's, that's what you want to do. Which had nothing to do with the fact that, hey, you know, this situation happened and we need to address it. No. Again, being cowards, you would rather try and deflect from that and curse me out and call me a bunch of names and tell me to kill myself and all this other shit as opposed to actually talking about the issue. Some of you actually had the audacity to say, well, if you didn't go to this person's events, then that's why they're trying to say, you know, that, you know, it's incredible. And I'm saying, wait a minute. So you're telling me my experience at a place, at a venue, is not credible because I didn't attend a certain person's events? That has to be the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. That's, a, that's almost as close as being stupid as saying, I've never heard of you, you're not part of this community. Even though I've been talking about this community for about, what, seven years now? Y'all came in first and said, 
well, you're, you've never done anything. You have any video of stuff that you've done? Then, because you, you know, remember before it was, you're not part of our community. Then it was, okay, you've done some conventions. So, it was like, which, which, wait, 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 wait a minute, which one is it? Am I not part of your community, or am I part of your community? Then you're saying, well, I don't know you, so you're not part of our community. So you're flip-flopping again. <laughs> then you had the nerve to say that I'm jealous of this game, of, of, of this place. Are you serious? Look, let me tell you something, alright? Because it's, it's quite obvious a lot of you either don't have education, you don't hold jobs, you've never had a career, or you're just plain stupid, all right? I, I put it like this. You are going to get, no matter whether you're trying to get a job, whether you're trying to make a deal in business, or whatever the case may be, walking door to door, giving your resume, whatever, okay? Sending it online to whoever, whatever. You are going to get a bunch of no's before you get a yes. That's life. And if you think someone is mad because somebody simply just said no, then there's something fucking wrong with you. If anything, it tells you more about it tells me more about you than it does me. All right. But here's the thing. All right. I just made a deal yesterday with the Philadelphia Fire Department. That's right. I just made a deal. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I be jealous of this one gaming area as opposed to the Philadelphia Fire Department? Are you going to now make the claim that this one gaming area is bigger than the fire department? Are you, are, are you going to do that? I would love to see that. See. <laughs> So when I told y'all, was it a day or so after the video had came out, that I was like, oh, and this is exactly how I'm right, I'm typing it, because I'm laughing. I'm like, oh, so for everything I've done for this city, this is how I'm being treated? Cool. Y'all don't have to worry about me supporting y'all ever again. Y'all don't have to worry about that. Not at all. All right? And people say, ha, 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 you're mad, and blah, blah, bro, I'm not mad. I'm good. I've moved on to other business ventures. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the attitude of how they acted, and then you say, well, you were, the way you acted in the video, yeah, would well, you get back what you put in? That's what happens, okay? That's it. But for y'all to go on this tangent and not try to make it about that is absolutely ridiculous. At least I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But since you wanted to silence me for telling the truth, and that says a lot, that says a lot. All you did was piss off the community. Like I said, people were like, yeah, I'm going to upload the video because some of them had their own agendas. It wasn't me. Like I said, I, not me. They upload the video because they don't like the FGC. Or they upload the video simply because they don't like the fact of censorship. What you did proved me right. In the end, you understand it. You already proved me right in the comment section, but you proved me right even more. Then you want me, and here's the thing, you want me to come to your... um. To your little uh, Facebook group over there, and I look at the the, the OP the person who posted the uh, the original poster of the uh, who put the video in there, and he's like, "Can we have a serious discussion about this? Um, you know, and, and talk about this? You know, what's going on?" And the comments, the first couple comments was, "This was corny. Fuck him. Blah blah blah." He wanted to have a serious discussion, and you decided not to do that. So why the hell would I come over there? And then the funny part is, after everything y'all have said to me in the previous two weeks, I thought that y'all would get over this by now, all right? But for everything you've said to me in the previous two weeks, um, after the video's flagged down, y'all come to me and say, well, we want you to come out to one of our locals and, and play with us. Hit a couple buttons with us. Why the fuck would I do that now? Why would I do that? So let me get it straight. Y'all want to curse me out, call me a bunch, it's almost like the Black Shinobi Syndrome. You want to call me out, Curse me out for, for God knows how long. Call me a bunch of names. Tell me to kill myself and all this other shit. And I'm not trying to hear, oh, well, they're just trolls. No, because some of your prominent members were liking that shit. They were liking that shit real quick. So don't think I didn't see it. And then you asked me to come out amongst you. <laughs> and you want me to play with you. Not to mention, some of you would go on Twitter Call me a bunch of names, then come back to the YouTube section in the comments and be like, can we have a civil talk about this? So you want to be two-faced. That's what you want to do. You want to be two-faced. And you think I want to be around y'all? Like, what kind of fucking logic is this? No. Like I said, y'all don't have to worry about me. Ever. Ever. And if you go back and you look at my videos, I used to, I used to promote the place. 
Remember, yeah, people watch my videos. You remember, I was like, yeah, I was like, if you go down, uh, down Gerard, and you see the strip club, you've gone too far. You shouldn't be going that way. You should be making that right. You should be going across. You have to understand that I promote the place. So yeah, I wasn't mad at the place. Didn't get mad until you treat, tried to treat me as less than you know than a customer or even as a human. You don't talk down to people like that. You don't. You get what you get. But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, I've already moved on to other ventures. So it's on you. And what y'all fail to realize is that, once again, this is Shades of 2013, all right? For those who remember a video I did in 2013 when a nonprofit group uh, was trying to make a deal with them for the FGC, all right, nonprofit group, and they went on the place. It's around the, it was around the corner from Liberty Place. Um, and... They did their own research on how the FGC is, and they saw all those pop-offs and all those people acting a fool, and they said, mm -mm, we can't support this. We're not going to put our name on this. People who watched that video, and mind you, it was very low. It didn't have that many views, all right? It was barely scratching 3,000 views, and y'all got all upset over that. He's looking for fame and all that. The fuck? I got the game by lying. It only got 3,000 views. You look at my other videos, big-time videos, DC Universe, Devil May Cry, they... 48, 50,000 views and all that. And I'm dealing with huge fan bases as opposed to, and rabid fan bases, as opposed to some 30 guys mad at me. Come on. Come on. But it took y'all that much to, 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 to science it under 3,000 views. Y'all hurt. Y'all hurt. And y'all said, we can't combat what, you know, what happened with you. We can't combat your experience. That tells me enough right there. <laughs> But this person said something about you online. This person was doing, like, I give a fuck. Let me ask you something, all right, real quick, all right? People that I've never met, all right, but you hold them as the golden goose. Why the fuck do you think I would care what they have to say? They haven't helped me in my life. Nothing positive. They haven't said, hey, event, man, let's go break bread or whatever. Nothing. Why the fuck would I care what they got to say? <laughs> don't care. If y'all don't care what I have to say, what the fuck makes you think I'm going to care what you have to say? I'm going to keep it moving. You jail instructed me. It's like, yo, just keep it moving. We'll make a statement. Okay, cool. And if they don't make a statement, I'm cool with that too. You want to know why? Because like I said, because I've moved on to other business ventures. <laughs> Never in my life have I seen so much stupidity that can be funny. I mean, Here's my last uh, comparison, okay? My last. Then we're going to move on from this, okay? Because <laughs> you shot yourself in the foot. Like I said, companies, like I said, people that I know connection-wise saw the video, and they saw those comments, and and I quote, it's time that you sever ties with that community. Who do you think I'm going to listen to? The people who have helped me be successful? Or a bunch of people who are mad because my buttons? Yeah. Last comparison, and we're going to end it here. All right, and this is all I'm talking about because I'm done after this, okay? When I was renovating basketball courts and I was telling y'all online in video, I'm renovating this basketball court, this is done, this needs to be done. Do you think I know every basketball player in this city? Do you think that? Hmm? But when they saw the video or when I go to places and I talk to them, they're like, yeah, we can see the problems and you know what, we for it. Let's work. But with your gamers... It was different. Oh, I don't know him. Therefore, he's not part of our community. <laughs> Do you see the difference in mentality? We don't need you. And, and, and we're going to send you links from event scrubs and all that. Are you fucking serious? Event scrubs at all places. Man, please. No matter what the fuck you send me, you have to understand that you're just playing yourself. We were celebrating partying. All right. So it was the playoffs was going on. Eagles were playing, and y'all sending me this shit. And I'm looking at my friends like, hey, yo, look at this shit. And they laughing because we're celebrating something else and living life. And y'all sitting on the, on the fucking computer. You're mad. You're really mad over this. Bruh, I'm out and partying. <laughs> living my life. You know <laughs> Pathetic. Anyways, let's move on. Like I said. Video is already somewhere else, and people are uploading it already. So, never leaves the internet. And that's what you get for trying to censor people for telling the fucking truth. Let's move on. So, let's talk about PlayStation, shall we? For those who don't know, Sony, 
uh, they're having mascots. They're having some figurines put out, all right? They come out on March 23rd for $9.99. Now, here's the thing about that, okay? You have to understand that some places like GameSpot have tried to put this, this header out there that's like, yeah, Sony's coming out with Amiibo type, uh, type of uh, figures. And that's not true. It's not. These are just figurines. While you may think they look like Amiibos, they have no functionality whatsoever. They're just figurines. Kratos, Hunter from Bloodborne, Crash, you know, Wipeout, stuff like that. There's no, yeah, they, they, they don't do anything. So they're not Amiibo-like. All right? They're not. Anyways, let's keep it going. Since we just talked just talked about the Hunter and Bloodborne, I um, guess I could talk about this really quickly since it's in that type of uh, genre. Dark Souls, that's right. Remaster is confirmed for PS4, the Switch, and the Xbox One. So, um, yeah, I don't have a problem with it, and it makes a lot of money, but you know, since Demon's Souls, these games have been cherished, people love them, and I don't have a problem with a remaster, I really don't. I still have the original Dark Souls, I got the, like, I got all of them actually, what was it, Dark Souls, I say, I got just, I got Dark Souls 3 Complete Edition, uh, what was it, but I got all the Dark Souls, Demon's Souls, uh, Bloodborne, we're waiting for Bloodborne 2, I got Neo, like, those type of games I like. So, I mean, I'm going to support them. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm going to get the remaster. But I play this. I would rather them just do a, a complete collection remaster if that was the case. But Dark Souls 1 is getting a remaster. Now, let's move on, shall we? I want to talk about PlayStation again real quick because PlayStation, uh, PlayStation's boss uh, pledges that, uh, was it, dedication to single-player games. And that's good. You know what I mean? I, I play like this. Single-player games are always good to have. But I do find it funny that just not too long ago, EA was like, single-player games are dead. Nobody wants single-player games. <laughs> so once again, it goes to show you that EA, again, does not know what the fuck they're talking about. And next time, we'll talk about EA some more. I understand there's some news that came out, but I really didn't want to talk about it this week. And there's some other things um, that happened with EA as well. So, but we will move on. I need to talk about this because I find this kind of disturbing. Pretty disturbing. For those who don't know, there's a mobile app game, and it was brought to my attention when y'all sent it to me, about cutting open women and taking out their babies, pretty much giving them a C-section, right? The problem with that is the age requirement to play this game starts at three years old. Now, look, the way I see this, I mean, I feel it's inappropriate, but then again, if you think about it, if you go to a toy store, right? And you go into a child section, let's say, the, you know, the, the baby section. Don't they have these type of things where uh, the, the, the person gives birth and you pull the baby out in the toy section or something like that? So, I'm not sure. That, I, I don't know the age requirements on that, though. But, I mean, I, I find it weird that they would let kids do this at such an early age. Now, I understand that, they, you, know, you know, kids play with dolls and, you know, and action figures and stuff like that. But to go as far as an, a, an app that would surgically let you cut open, all right, the mother to pull out the baby. I think it's a bit much, don't you think? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying here. I'm just saying. This is really wacky. I mean, we got some more wacky news, but really wacky. So, I guess we should start with some wacky news. Again, I mean, that wasn't enough. Uh, Metal Gear, survive. Metal Gear, survive. Yes, so... Let's get this straight. Metal Gear Survive requires constant online connection and microtransactions. Are you serious, Konami? Now look, alright, when it comes to this, people have played the demo, I talked to have played the demo, and everyone that I talked to had played the demo was like, this demo is bad. The strongest weapon in the game that we saw so far in the demo is the gate. You put the gate up so they can't get around it. That's it. And then you just poke them. That's what you do. You just poke them in the face. Um... I don't understand this. I, I don't. I, I, look, Konami, if you were trying to get back into the good graces of fans and use Metal Gear, this game shouldn't have been called Metal Gear, but okay, whatever. But you want to get back into the good graces of fans after everything that has happened between you and Kojima, the cancellation of Silent Hill, stuff like that. People are still upset with you. They are. And for you to do this, constant online connection, and, and seriously microtransactions, that, that's not going to go well for you. I'm sure there's some people that are going to be like, yeah, go get the game. It's great. We've seen people already online trying to shill it. We've seen it. 
But from everyone, pretty much, that I've talked to who's actually hands-on on the demo and have played it and they've recorded it and they're just letting you know this game is bad. Like, I don't know where you go from here. I really don't. I mean, this almost is, almost is going to feel like um, almost like an Operation Raccoon City type thing. You know, but here's the thing. Game was bad, but people just need, wanted something just to play around with. And they said, well, it's Capcom. It's in the lore of Resident Evil. It seems like that's what Konami's trying to do. But I don't know if this is going to work in their favor. I really don't think it is. Especially the fact that Capcom, Resident Evil, that, that's their job. That's their franchise. It's built around zombies. Metal Gear isn't built around zombies. So for them to just throw zombies out there, like, yeah, just just, just these zombies. People are just like, wait a minute, what? Like, that makes no sense. Like, it, it, it it's kind of confusing a lot of people. And people are still also, like I said, once again, still upset of the decisions that Konami has made uh, in the previous couple of years. So we will see what happens with Metal Gear Survive. But for what I'm saying, it's just bad. All together, bad. What I'm hearing is bad. Like I said, I'd rather hear, and I keep telling you time and time again, I would rather listen to people who, who are gamers and not yes-men and shills and, and advertising. And all. I'd rather listen to gamers. That's how it's always been, word of mouth. That's how we've always got you know the word around and talk to each other. Always. You know what I mean? And then when we do, I do these videos, we, we create a discussion. That's what we do. So, let's move on, shall we? And more news. And... Some people can say this is, I'm going to say it's wacky, but I guess it's good news for a certain person. Uh, Sonic Creator is joining Square Enix. That's right. Uh, good luck to him. Still wacky news, because it's like, wait a minute. One of the creators of Sonic is going over to, to the Square Enix. What, what's going on over there? Yeah, and he also has his own company, so we don't know how that's going to affect the company as well. So, um, we will see in the future what happens with that. Real, real wacky news. But, in more Sega news, because since that's kind of been linked with Sega with Sonic... Here's something for y'all. House of the Dead, Scarlet Dawn has been announced for arcades. Now, I will put it like this. As you know, House of the Dead has always been a favorite of a lot of people. Everyone, no matter where you go, you like love play uh, House of the Dead. You don't just have to play it at an arcade. Because some of you are going to say, well, arcades don't exist anymore. But you know these type of games always are at like a Dave & Buster's or at a movie theater. So you'll more likely get your chance to play it. I mean, let's be honest here. Um, if they have that Terminator game pretty much at every movie theater and Dave and Buster's, I mean, that damn thing is huge and it costs a lot. You get these big ass guns. I'm sure that House of the Dead being, you know, one of the OGs of light gun games, I'm not going to say they're the original original, but they're huge, insanely popular. All right. Stuff like Time Crisis as well. Um, that don't more likely make their way over. More than likely. You know what I mean? I want to hear, hear it's only Japan only. I'm sure if they want to, you know, push that out there. Especially, listen, Dave and Buster's do, does this type of stuff a lot. So, we will see. I mean, they got, they're over there, Dave and Buster's over here, they have what? The Terminator game, the Aliens game, they got all kinds of stuff. You go uh, to the, the shore, the boardwalk, they got the Aliens, they got all kinds of stuff going on over there. You know what I mean? So, there's places that will definitely, it will have a home for. You know what I mean? So, let's move on. Gundam. That's right. New Gundam Breaker game has been announced. Now, of course, they said there's going to be another game announced, um, but that was, like, the biggest thing that stood out. New Gundam Breaker game. Bandai. I still have a problem with you and his DLC when it comes to Gundam Versus. Gundam Versus apparently was well-received when it came to numbers. We will see what happens in the future if they come out with another one. However, you have to understand that Bandai Namco, you are not doing anyone any favors with this DLC. You are not. It's bad enough that a lot of these Gundams that you have as DLC that you want people to pay for, um, aren't really that good. They really aren't. Some of them are, but not all of them. So, again, the DLC is getting out of hand with Gundam Versus, and I feel as though they have to do something about it. I understand right now their focus is on Dragon Ball. Because here's the thing. You can't say they don't have the money, all right? You were paying, was it, what was it, the, the Green Bay Packers? The players were playing that. Um, there's been so many people who have been playing Dragon Ball, and the game looks like quality, but then again, here we go, season pass and all that type of stuff. There was just, uh, was it, not too long ago, they were talking about loot boxes, uh, SRK said something about loot boxes, and all I did was simply say what was the art, what the article said, and people were getting on me on Twitter about it, I'm like, dude, like, they're not loot boxes, I'm like, I, I didn't say this, the, the article says it, I'm just, I was sent the link, and it was, it didn't have no header to it, so I was like, so I just kind of put a header to it. I didn't say this, they said this. And people, you know, some people apologize about it, you know. 
So um, it was just like, yeah, like, don't blame me. Don't blame, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, for something they said. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, let's move on. We have a new competitor against gamers. And they're, they're talking about taking over your TV. So for you as gamers, cannot play your games. That's right. There is a huge competitor that is it's not just taking over your TV. It's going to take over your household. So you better hide your games. You better hide your TV. Because it's all there now. And they're pushing it. But those don't know what I'm talking about. This is the shit that I'm talking about. Yes, Doggo TV. Watch out. They're taking over your system. They're taking over They're taking over everything. We have seen, and for those who don't know the ongoing joke about animals playing video games online, because we've talked about it on Twitter, this is just the next step of evolution to take over your TV. You want to play video games? Nah. They're going to sit there and they're going to watch TV. You don't have it anymore. They're going to sit on your couch. They're going to lay on your floor. They're going to munch on your cords. They're going to do everything. Unless you're playing wireless. But they're still going to get your controllers. Put it all away. It's over. Doggy TV is here. And you know what? <laughs> I feel bad right now because Doggy TV, at least let's be real here. Do dogs really need to watch TV of themselves? I mean, can't you just take them out to the park for a walk? Can't you do that? Like, like what's wrong? What's going on here? Doggy TV. Oh my god. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Goddamn dogs. Damn animals. You got everything. All the importance. <laughs> you got spas. Now you need TVs. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. We'll move on to my last bit of news. Since we're talking about animals. Or monsters. That's right. Let's talk about it. Monster Hunter World. Now. Monster Hunter World is adding a day one patch. Uh, Poogie, it's adding bug fixes, DLC, which will be Joe, etc., etc., etc. You know how I feel about day one patches. But the fact that they're going to add all these things in, I guess, makes it somewhat justifiable to have a day one patch. Even though it should have been in the game. and all. You know, you know how we feel. We always want to just talk about day one patches. We always do. But it seems like they are adding a number of content for Monster Hunter World. Also understand that all DLC will be free as it has been in the previous iterations of Monster Hunter. Um, I will be getting game. I pre-ordered the game. Y'all saw on Twitter. I pre-ordered the game. It will be coming Friday. Um, I plan on playing it a lot. Okay? We've been playing the demo a lot. Alright? And as you know, everyone knows, I've noticed because I talked to some, uh, some of the guys from UGL who were playing the demo. And... They said when they played with uh, teammates that, uh, randoms, of course, randoms, not a static crew, randoms, that they were getting mad. One, uh, you know, one of the guys used a hammer, and the guy cursed them out for using a hammer. And he literally went on his tangent, apparently, that hammer players aren't good. And I'm like, what? Hammer players aren't good. First off, if you're going, if you're going against a big-time monster anyway, you have a hammer player who's a good hammer player on your team, you want them, because they're going to break up a lot of shit, especially their horns, their face, all that. They're going to break up a lot of shit. Not to mention KO them. Not, not, KO them slightly. They're going to knock them down for a while for you to get easy shots. I don't understand where anybody would say that hammer players are bad. I have never heard that in my life when it comes to Monster Hunter. Now, of course, as you know, I will play with anyone in Monster Hunter. Because I will help anybody who needs any help in Monster Hunter. Whether we fail or not, and you can ask anybody I played with on stream during the demo. I have never jumped on anyone for making a mistake. They get KO'd, they get kitty carded, you know, corner, you know, corner wrecked or whatever, wall wrecked. I never, I, it's okay, don't worry about it. It happens, you know what I mean? The only time you'll see me get upset is if I make a mistake because I expect better from myself. You know what I mean? Because I've been playing the game for so long. You can't be making bad mistakes. This is this, this, this disrespectful the team. Can't do that. So I'll get mad at myself, given how long I've been playing Monster Hunter. So, but I never get mad at my teammates. And I never, you never should get mad at your teammates. You have to understand, there's going to be, this time around, there is going to be, because the way they've changed the system for a little bit more casual friendly, you're going to have a lot of new people that are being introduced to this game. So, us vets... You gotta, if you want them to learn the right way, then you sit back and you teach them the ways. But what you don't do is curse them out and yell at them and call them a bunch of names for making mistakes. They're not going to learn that way. They're not. They're, the, the, the mistake that they learned, they messed up and the monster got them, that's, that, that's how they learn. They made a mistake. They don't need you to yell at them. That, makes, that, that doesn't help anything. 
Everyone in every game in the history of gaming did not start off at OG Expert. No one. Everyone starts at a low level, at a beginner level, at a novice level, and then as you play and get experience, you move on and on and on. So I think a lot of people tend to forget these things when they get to a certain level of, of, of monster hunting or just any game in general. Uh, you get to a high level, and then you're playing this where you're like, you're nothing but a scrub and blah, blah, blah. Had to start somewhere. You have to remember where you've been. And these are games. Again, these are games. Monster Hunter is built around, majority of it, is built around teamwork. It is. Alright? I understand everyone likes to go solo and do everything solo. And that's cool and all. That's fine. Everyone plays solo quests. But online is where it's at. You know that. So I'm letting you know now. You have to have patience with people. Now look. If people aren't trying and they just want you to beat the monster for them, well, then that's a problem. That's a problem. But if they're putting in effort and they're losing, hey, man, don't worry about it. It's cool. We'll get them next time. You know what I mean? They have to learn. They have to get that experience. And they have to know that they have somebody on their side who will show them the right ways. And I think that's the best part about it. Monster Hunter has never been about a community that has just thrown people under the bus. You do have your people who do that, though. You do. You do. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Every community has it, but Monster Hunter, these guys, they get so arrogant for no damn reason. It's almost like the FGC. You get arrogant over button pushing. I don't get it. There's no reason. The fact is, at the end of this, it's about teamwork. It's about a goal. And look, if you're helping somebody, oh, I need this piece of armor. Or okay, I'm going to help you. But guess what? We're going to be a while. Why? Because you're not going to get all the pieces that you need in one run. No, you got to have multiple runs. And get everything that you need. And there's going to be times where you have rare drops. And you're not going to get that. You're going to spend 3-4 hours trying to get that drop. This is Monster Hunter. This is why people pour so many hours into the game. Alright? So when people say, oh I pulled 100 hours into it. People like myself are like, only 100 hours? Eh, okay, if you say so. Like, <laughs> like, like that, that's, that's not a lot, you know what I mean, compared to what you can do. But if you have an efficient team that knows what they're doing, you know, who can help you along the way, then that's one thing as well. It, it actually shortens your time. It actually does. Because, they say, even though you're trying, they know all the ins and outs. It's about scouting the monster, knowing the movements, knowing what's going on. And especially when you're playing online, I must, I, I, if you didn't watch my, um, my, my Monster Hunter video impressions uh, for Monster Hunter World, Still, the thing that is consistent in all these monster hunters throughout the years is that monsters teleport due to server problems, okay? Could be a distance away. Oh, he's right in front of you all of a sudden. It's not a power that they have. It's because of the servers that Capcom has, all right? That's what it is. It's, it, it's something they have, they've had for years. It's not we're just overlaying code and it's a bug. No, it's clearly something wrong with the servers. But you get used to that. You do. So you'll be able to scout it. So, And sometimes you don't scout it and it happens. You're like, oh, I'm dead. It, 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 it happens. All right? But you learn from it. Like I said, everything is a learning experience. It is. So, with that said, my next bit of news. It is 2018. I have done videos here for so long. So long. And I've talked about it before where I've said... I feel as though I talk about gaming more than I play gaming. You know what I mean? That I do get than I do play games. And that's not fun for me. You know? I get on here, we talk, we have a discussion, and it's all good. I think this year, I will... I'm not quitting. I'm still going to do videos. I don't want y'all to think that I'm not. Okay? But I want to focus on playing some more games, man, and having fun. You know? Y'all know. Y'all can catch me online and, and, and play on Twitch or whatever. It's, I want to have fun. I want to play games, you know, not just sit in this chair and give you the business. Because if y'all haven't realized by now, within all these years, nothing has changed. Same hustles, the same people. If it's not the same people, they fade away, someone takes their place, and they still do the same old bullshit, the same everything. And no matter how much you fight against it, you still have these idiots who will support them. No matter what they do. I mean, we just saw the whole Logan Paul thing, didn't we? People supporting the shit out of him. He actually gained subscribers off of that. And in notoriety. Ain't that something? And YouTube was like, yeah, we're not going to really do nothing. But what we're going to do is, we're going to make sure that we punish everyone else. 
Yeah, man. If you can't tell me the system isn't fucked up, and we've been talking about the system of YouTube being fucked up for what? Five years? <sighs> yep, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. It doesn't. Let's just try and have some fun. Let's try and play some games. I always tell y'all, you know, take care of business first, so you know these issues, and then we'll play some games. You know what I mean? And if people get mad at this video again, because I made a... Re it's not... It's like a small reply. Trust me. It's not even a real big reply. You know what I mean? I'm Like, I'm good right now. I'm, I'm happy. This city has been happy for previous two weeks. I'm happy. I don't have a reason to be upset. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they're going to try and find a reason to be upset. I'm just going to lie about you. That'll get you upset. Bruh, you on the internet. I don't care what you say, dude. I don't care. At this point, like I said, I just want to have fun. You know what I mean? And have some fun. Play some games with everyone. Y'all also said y'all want to play Tekken 7 with me. I have not played Tekken 7. I bought it on Black Friday. It is still packaged. It's still wrapped up. It's still sitting there. I have not played it. And people are like, yo, I'm going to play with Tekken 7. I'm going to body you. Yeah, because I haven't played it. <laughs> like, I haven't played it. <laughs> like, 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 and y'all, some of y'all said well, we should have a session with it. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. It'll be a learning experience. It's been a long time since I've used Jin. A long time. Or Paul, you know what I mean? Or Heihachi, or, or a number of people, you know what I mean? So, or Law, or Kazuya, it's been a long time, you know what I mean? But, as far as, I'm, and, and again, I have to say this because for those who know the ongoing joke, fuck Miguel. But anyway, <laughs> but anyways, like I said, we'll get all to it, you know what I mean? I just want to have fun, everyone just relax and chill. Friday, Monster Hunter is coming because, like I said, that's when it comes out. Uh... At least the pre-order. And um, hopefully it gets her early, because I ordered it from Amazon. Hopefully it gets her early, and um, we'll start streaming then. Because that night, Friday night, I got to work. So, But if I don't, if it doesn't come on Friday during the day, we can play, and I got to work Friday night. When I get off work Friday night, I'll jump on and play with you. I don't, I don't care. I don't have a problem with it. I got to learn. Like I said, I got to see what's going on with the game anyway. All right? I do. And just to let you know... As an OG of Monster Hunter. Oh, he goes up OG. He's pulling rank. <laughs> As a person who's played Monster Hunter from the beginning, all right, my voice settings and my setting English subtitles, but the voices from Monster Hunter, because they have dialogue, will be on Monster Hunter Talk. I'm not putting it on English. I don't care what the voice actors have to say. Monster Hunter Talk, as they've been doing throughout these years, that's what I'm privy to. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all be safe. Y'all have a good one. Try to enjoy yourselves. And for the rest of y'all sitting around, trying to start shit with people, take your asses outside. Alright? You need to. It's pretty sad that they would go this far. I'll talk to y'all then. Y'all be safe, man. I'm out.